The Chargers have had a fantastic offseason so far. They made some big moves to improve their team. First, they let go of Mike Williams, which freed up $20 million for the team. Then they traded Keenan Allen, saving a whopping $23.1 million. Now they hold the fifth overall pick in the upcoming draft. Sure, their current wide receivers, Josh Palmer, Quentin Johnston, and Darius Davis might not be the strongest in the NFL. But with the fifth pick in a draft loaded with talented receivers, they're in a prime position. Even if they trade down a bit, they'll still snag a top-notch receiver. Players like Ryan Thomas Jr., Malik Neighbors, or Marvin Harrison Jr. could be game changers for them. If they stick with the fifth pick, they might even land the best tackle in the draft, Joe Al. We all know how much Jim Harbaugh values a solid offensive line. Just look at teams like the Chiefs and the 49 ERs who made it to the Super Bowl with strong fronts. Last season, the Chargers' offensive line was a letdown. Despite signing Trey Pipkins to a long-term deal, he couldn't hold down the right tackle spot. Corey Lindley got injured early in the season after just three games. Johnson, Sayer, and Slater didn't make significant progress either. So it's crucial for the Chargers to bolster their offensive line with another talented player. The Chargers made a solid addition to their roster by picking up Bradley Bosman in free agency. He's a 29-year-old with experience in Greg Roman's scheme, and he's set to step in as the starting player. Additionally, they've got Will Dizzle, a tight end known for his strong run-blocking skills. Moving forward, the key for the Chargers will be how they nurture their young talent and make smart draft picks. Players like Quentin Johnston, Asante Samuel, Zion Johnson, and Tool too have great potential. Under Harbaugh's guidance in 2024, they're expected to make significant improvements. Now let's talk about the new offensive coordinator, Greg Roman. He was with the Ravens from 2019 to 2022, and during his tenure, the team consistently ranked among the top three in rushing yards per game. This is huge for the Chargers, a team that has struggled to establish a strong running game in recent years. Roman's expertise in developing effective rushing attacks could be a game changer. In addition to their ground game, Roman's teams also performed well in scoring, finishing in the top 10 in points per game and offensive efficiency. This means the Chargers could see a more balanced offensive approach, moving away from relying solely on Justin Herbert's arm. While Austin Eckler remains a standout player, there's room for improvement as he's experienced some regression in recent seasons. The Chargers have been lacking a solid running game with no clear lanes for runners and little creativity in play calling. But things are looking up for them in 2024, especially with the acquisitions of Gus Edwards and Hayden Hurst. Edwards, who had an impressive season with the Ravens in 2023, brings a workhorse mentality to the Chargers' backfield. With 198, carries for 810 yards and 13 touchdowns, he's proven himself as a reliable runner. And with his ability to break tackles and find open holes, he's a perfect fit for Greg Roman's offense. However, the Chargers still need a complimentary back to support Edwards. While Isaiah Spiller has potential, he might not be the ideal fit, so they might look to draft a running back in the later rounds or consider bringing in Jacob Dobbins, who already knows Roman's system and has experience playing alongside Edwards. In addition to their backfield upgrades, the Chargers made some underrated moves in free agency. Will Dizzle, a fourth-round pick in 2018, adds toughness and grit to the team. While his primary role will be run blocking, he'll also provide a boost to the passing game. Overall, the Chargers are focused on revamping their ground game this offseason with an emphasis on building a strong running back core. And while they could still add depth at the receiver position, their recent moves signal a positive shift towards a more balanced offensive approach. If the Chargers shore up their offensive line, they'll be in a strong position. One option they're eyeing is Tyler Boyd, who's garnered interest from not only the Chargers, but also the Chiefs 
Dolphins, and 49 ERs. Despite a challenging season last year, Boyd remains a solid option, especially considering he played alongside standout receivers like Jamar Chase and T. Higgins. He could seamlessly slot into the Chargers lineup, potentially becoming their top receiver. While the Chargers haven't made any notable moves in free agency for receivers, they may address this need through the draft or make a last-minute trade before the draft kicks off. Now let's talk about that fifth overall pick. It's incredibly exciting. There's talk of drafting Joe Al, a highly touted offensive tackle. Given the Chargers' struggles with pass protection last season, selecting Al would make sense. However, Malik Neighbors is also a promising prospect and could be the Chargers' pick at number five. He's considered one of the top talents in the draft class. The Chargers are in a great position with Justin Herbert leading the offense. They're looking to surround him with talent, particularly someone who can stretch the field, make big plays after the catch, and possess game-changing athleticism. While Malik Neighbors seems like a perfect fit, Brock Bowers is my personal favorite for the Chargers at the fifth pick. However, it's unlikely he'll go that high because tight ends typically don't command such high draft positions. Looking at past drafts, top tight end picks like Kyle Pitts haven't always lived up to the hype. Meanwhile, players like George Kittle and Travis Kelsey were drafted later and became elite talents. So it might be wiser for the Chargers to target Neighbors or Joe Al at the fifth pick or consider trading down to accumulate more assets. Fortunately, the Chargers have plenty of draft picks to address their needs at receiver, cornerback, offensive line, and interior defensive line. With nine picks in total, they have the flexibility to make strategic moves and build a well-rounded roster. The Chargers are in an excellent position with their off-season moves so far. Credit goes to their new head coach, offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, and general manager for transforming the team. They've shifted from a team without much hope around Justin Herbert to one that's building something special. However, their success will ultimately depend on how they perform in the upcoming draft. While their free agency moves have been promising, the Chargers are primarily focused on building through the draft. It might take some time, perhaps one to three years, but I believe they have the potential to win a Super Bowl within that time frame. I have confidence in Harbo and the rest of the coaching staff to lead the Chargers to success. It's all about patiently building a strong foundation through smart draft picks and strategic roster moves.